Bienvenue back to Walk Out of Control. I, that was a fuck up. I'm sorry. Bienvenue. On est retourné à Out of Controllers. There we go. No, please. Translate it to French, please. I don't know how to say controllers. Um, it's probably Nobody has, uh, Some person hasn't, hasn't hung out with French gamers enough. I was really shitty at video games. I didn't know the word cible, which is to target. So I couldn't figure out, or like to aim. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't figure out how to aim my gun. So I was playing Assassin's Creed 3, and oh, they were God. like, here's how to aim your gun and shoot. You know, and since it's such a simple thing, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to like walk around and do something else. So I sat there for about half an hour <laughs> trying to figure out how to aim my gun because I couldn't read the directions because nobody was there to explain it to me. <laughs> I was very That's why text heavy explanations stink. I was very bad at, yes. um, well, it wasn't even that text heavy, it was just like, here's this word that you don't know, that's very important. <laughs> yeah. With no surrounding text to give you context clues. Yeah, that's another problem. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, let's yeah. talk about the game that we're actually playing. Yeah. No, let's just talk for ten minutes about <laughs> Assassin's Creed. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'm not. What do you make of our new mistress then, hey? Must be quite a shock for you. Don't like it much, I imagine. What? So I, have you. I am. I am a French lesbian. Why would that not be <laughs> pleasing to me? They're totally dating. <laughs> well, <laughs> but maybe not dating. C'est la vie. It makes no difference to me. Only that it is so sad about Lord Vandernaut. Yes, well, uh, that goes without saying. And the new mistress, she is so beautiful. Well, be. Yes. Boobalicious? <laughs> so she's not Booby very boobalicious. No, no, no. She's not very boobalicious. No, That's... I, I, I am the boobalicious one. <laughs> you are mistaking her for me. definition. <laughs> Juliet <laughs> Menosh. <laughs> she is so helpless, like a kitten. I am afraid someone, she will take it, he, she will take advantage. She just, yeah, yes. Yes, you know, wow. she is very bad. She'll bore me with her yes. little kitty. I'm about to say kitty titties. Oh my god, Dan. <laughs> what? I, I meant claws like she's a cat, but it's like I'm on her boot. I don't know. But I had so many ambitions when I was growing up. I, first... oh, I don't think I want to hear about yeah. that. Yeah, I don't want to hear. No, no, let's not talk about that. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the Egerton. No, let's talk about I, his kitty titty aspirations. Oh, no, I, child. Not, no, I, had no kitty, I had no kitty titty aspirations. <sighs> this is talking about my general failure in all things now that I've said kitty titties <laughs> and I'm going to put this out in the public. <laughs> no, let's, let's move on. I wanted to be a jewel thief when I was younger because I, I thought it was no. an easy job. No, no. We're, just, we're, we're not just, gonna. We're not. All right. Anyway, Dan, shut up. Let's talk about the Egertons to yes. change the subject, please. Yes. Oh no, it is not for. <coughs> it. Thanks for coughing over me. I'm sorry. It is not for me to say. Inspector Parker is a little bit hard on the throat. Well, then maybe don't make it as hard on your throat. <laughs> Go on, Missy. I'm the police, you know. Je m'appelle Juliette. Excuse you. Uh, it is only that Mrs. Egerton, Barbara, she is most, a most unhappy woman. She has no man, and I, that would make her happy. I don't know why I said that. Um, <laughs> and, things, <laughs> and things did not work out uh, the way she plans. When a woman is so unhappy, she is not so nice to work for. Unpleasant, is she? And what about our children, Franklin and Philippa? Are they unpleasant too? No, pas du tout. Philippa, she thinks on your clothes and jewels like any grand lady. Franklin, I never see him. What's the okay. <laughs> Always coming and going like a shadow. He knows the castle so well since a boy he plays here. And always he is making something down there. <laughs> down? Down where? Do, do I need to draw you a picture? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I'm very old and lonely. <laughs> They will be stick people. I have no Whoa. talent. Uh, in the basement, Monsieur. Monsieur Franklin, he has a lab down there in the basement. Oh. Let's talk about the booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Juliet, 
you're responsible for cleaning and whatnot. Isn't that right? So you must no, be aware do. that there are deadly booby traps. Oh, you're not? No. What I exactly do you do then? I stand here with a glass in my hand and pretend to be productive. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, I do pretty much the same thing as with a notebook. That's why they sent me on this shitty job. Uh, so you must be... Oh, anyway, as seeing as you're not aware, I will inform you that there are deadly booby traps littered all over this house. Do you mean this, Monsieur? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I was, uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> but Monsieur, it is not my fault. I am afraid and I do not touch them. Do you touch them? No, but it do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see how you can resist, but okay. Uh, you shouldn't, but you shouldn't touch them because women are not allowed to have sexual drives and uh, desires. Oh, God. No, if they touch the women, it's not a sexual drive or desire. Yeah, women can't have sexual they drive don't desires. They don't have sexual agency at all. Even yeah. with each other. No, definitely not. No. Lesbians are not a thing. No, yes. they're not. <laughs> <laughs> but as you've moved about the house or been in guest rooms, you must have seen something suspicious. One of the men messing with something yawned. Or perhaps with strange supplies amongst his things. I don't suspect women because I'm sexist and don't think women are capable of such things. Precisely. One of the men... <laughs> God, now, my dear. They're very mechanical, these booby trap devices. Uh, also, I don't think women can have sexual agency, so I don't see why they'd be interested. Uh, <laughs> A man, though, he would spend all day and night just fiddling with boobies. <laughs> I mean, I would, given the chance. You are so wise, monsieur. <laughs> ah, thank you Do for flattering me and stroking my ego. <laughs> You could stroke something else. Um. <laughs> well, I would like you to answer the question. Mm. <coughs> she is a big house, monsieur. I have seen nothing except the obvious. What's that? Oh. The large dicks, obviously. <laughs> no one walks around this house in pets. <laughs> <laughs> monsieur Franklin <laughs> has many tools, as you say. I do not like all his boyfriends. Do you why why you? did you steal my lines? Mons Mademoiselle <laughs> Mariposa. I do not like to say, but Monsieur Franklin he has so many tools, as you say, these mechanical things down in the basement. Oh, yes. Down uh, there. He, he, he really goes for the asshole characters, then, doesn't he? Oui. <laughs> anyway... The guests or North death. Let's talk about the guests. What do you know of the guests? Have you seen them before? Monsieur Fulin. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, this game does have a racist caricature, and for that I apologize. You probably um, won't do an accent for it. Yeah, yeah no. Um, he has been down in... He has, he has been to Ravencourt before, but the others, I do not know them. Lord North, he was very popular, but he did not bring friends oh, yeah. to the islands. Oh, uh, not to the island? No, uh, Mrs. Egerton, Eger you know, she's a bit of a homophobe. Oh, I see. In addition to all her other problems. But oh, it is difficult, Monsieur. With only Colin and myself to look after so many people, the cook, she is stuck on the mainland and the butler has run off. Yes, well, uh... Chin up, I'll get a clear view of those traps. Um, you'll get through it, girl. No sense in complaining about it. Wow. <laughs> He's so nice. <laughs> Let's talk about death. <laughs> get my mind off these boobies. <laughs> you are here in the night. No, yes, I've got to kill this boner a little bit. Yeah, you know. So I've got to talk about death. <laughs> you are here in the night. Nor have I not died. All I want you to tell me about it. Kill my boner. Oh no, I cannot speak of it. I'm sure you would like my boner to be killed as well, so please help. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you tell Colin something about a horrible look in a screen. I don't like to pass on such horrible stories, but it is true. The butler, he found Lord North and then he calls me such a terrible look on Lord North's face. Monsieur, like he had seen the devil. Kind of a grimace, was it? Well, death is rarely pretty, except for when it is. <laughs> Go on! Except for in the Sandman. Just before we find the body, there was this terrible cry. Through the whole house, monsieur. What kind of cry? Did it sound like Lord North? Pardon me. 
no, it did not sound like him at all. It did not sound like anyone, but like it uh, came from, from, I do not know where. And that is why the butler, he ran away. Probably a bad sheep. I would go too, monsieur. Only I have no place to go. I'm sure you could find one pretty easily. <laughs> anyway, let's see. That eat. didn't kill my butter at all! <laughs> Next time we're out of control this, we're just gonna slap it till it goes away. <laughs> and we're actually gonna play some of the actual game instead of just walking around and talking to people. No, no, that's never. never no, nope, never. I think there's like one other thing in this room. But we'll look at that next time on Out of Controllers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nothing else. Bye. Bye. Bye.